Okay, hello Aquarius. How you doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, this is your Romance of Lifetime reading. Okay, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video, you guys. Uh, make sure you turn those notification buttons on. All right, keep them on. All right, new viewers, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by checking out my channel. Sit back, enjoy this Romance of a Lifetime reading. I hope you all can gain some insight on something um in the reading all right i hope something uplifts you you know i hope you know most of all something can help you as well all right i hope you're having a blessed week okay don't forget to check out the fist benefit site in the description box below whenever you get a chance especially if you're on that diet journey you guys check it out there's a lot of new items on the site if this um link below does not work go to my channel Page, click on the link and it'll take you straight to that website okay so you guys check it out when you get a chance thank you all right so let's get some call oh, what i heard for you guys um somebody's feeling abandoned okay either um somebody's feeling like you're a bit you've abandoned them or you guys could be feeling like somebody abandoned you guys i also heard standoffish okay so somebody's being seen as standoffish whether it's you or the other person or you you could be feeling like this about the other person Okay, so you guys have to, you know, if you're resonating with that, you know, you know who it is feeling in that certain energy. Okay, so let's just get some cards to draw um, Aquarius's energy, romance of a lifetime. Show me Aquarius's energy, please. Romance of a lifetime. Okay, get this card to flip in the deck. Romance of a Lifetime, Aquarius's energy. Okay. Okay, this was the first card out. Um, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Um, moon card, Cancer energy. Chariot, Cancer Energy again. Um, we have the Three of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer Energy, Water Energy. Strong water here. The Nine of Pentacles is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. Um, the Ten of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, somebody's hiding a secret, okay? Somebody's wanting stability. Somebody in your energy, either you, this could be you or somebody in your energy. Um, they are wanting stability with somebody that they find very nurturing to them. Um, somebody that they find beautiful, strong, secure. Um, they, they see this person... You know, they love their dress style. You know, they love this person's clean, neat to them. You know, they probably smell good to them. And they're hiding it. They're hiding this a secret. This is somebody they're holding on to. They're holding on to this person. But they're keeping it a secret. You, you're you going to be illuminated about this. This is going to come out, Aquarius. You're going to find out about this. Um, This person, is. this is somebody you could have stability with. Because this is a card of stability. <clears throat> um, they want to charge for it successfully with this person. They want to reunite with this person. Um, the nine of pentacles is here. Okay, they see this person as um very independent, strong. You know, not needing any help from anybody. They watch this person. Okay, um, they can see themselves being abundant with this person as well. Two people on the car. So this. They can see this person as their equal. All right. They can see this person growing in success. Um, yeah, you, you're being backstabbed and betrayed. You're being backstabbed and betrayed. You're going to find out. It's going to be illuminated to you that you're being backstabbed and betrayed. Hold on, you guys. Give me one minute. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back, you guys. 
But um, it's going to be illuminated to you guys that you're going to be backstabbed or betrayed. You're being backstabbed and betrayed by somebody you have stability with. You're going to feel backstabbed and betrayed when you find this out. Okay, romance of a lifetime. Of course, is energy. Romance of a lifetime. Of course, is energy. And somebody in your energy dealing with a Taurus. Romance of a lifetime. Aquarius is energy. Romance of a lifetime. Aquarius is energy. They find this person to be very nurturing to them. Um, Ace of Pentacles is here. They want a successful new beginning and stability. They want stability with this person. Um, seven of um, Pentacles. They're contemplating on... Um, Maybe how to tell you. They're looking at options. Maybe how to, you know, give you some type of stability so they can move forward successfully with this person. They're contemplating. They're looking at all kinds of options how to be with this person. All right. Okay. They're ready to rush into this person. It's like they're tired of contemplating on. They're ready to really rush into this person. Um, eight of Wands. They feel like the desire between you and them is is gone. The compassion between you and them is gone. Look, the, the um, incense are blown out. Yeah, you're back there. Um, they feel like there's no excitement in the relationship between you and them. They feel maybe tied, stuck. Um, look at them. Their eyes is covered. It's like, look, I don't even want to say it. But yeah, it, it, the the they feel like everything's gone in the relationship. But they're going to communicate. You're going to get some communication on this. Okay. And this is somebody they're in communication with. They communicate with this person back and forth. They're tired of doing that. They want to rush into the person. There's a lot of communication between them and this person. And they're tired of sitting and contemplating on being with this person. They're ready to just rush into them. They're tired of just talking with them. They want to rush in and be with them fully. Okay, Eight of Cups is here. They're ready to walk away from the stability that they have with you. They're ready to walk away from it. Okay, the three of the three of swords is here. Um, this is a third party. Yep, three threes on the board, two threes on the board. Yeah, this is a third party. This person is ready. They may come to you and communicate to you that they want a separation. Okay. Because they no longer want to be apart from this person. They want to come in union with this person. Okay? Yeah, because they want a successful new beginning with this person. So they'd rather cut with no, with no longer service them out of their life so they can move forward with this person, with this tourist. So you're going to get some communication. Some communication is going to come into you. And it may come into you quite soon because the Eight of Wands is a very fast card. Cancer. Um, romance of a lifetime. I mean Aquarius. Oh what? <clears throat> romance of a lifetime. Aquarius is energy, please. This is what the sign is a cancer. This is a somebody dealing with a um, water sign. It, it don't have to be a cancer. It could be a Pisces Scorpio or a Cancer. Um Seven of Wands is here. Yeah, even though y'all had a history, whoever this is, y'all had a long history with each other. Journey, they're ready to cut that out. They don't care whether y'all had a, they're not even thinking that y'all had a long history or been through a lot, okay, in the relationship. They're still willing to cut this off to get a successful new beginning with this other person. Yeah, you may be fending them off, okay, maybe you're fending them off. And this is um, could be why they're ready to push forward and try something new with this other person because you could be fitting them off. Maybe they're tired of fitting them off. You know, you fitting them off. Yeah, they're just ready to cut drama off. What no longer serves them, you know, off and, and and have a successful new beginning. They're very obsessed over this person. Okay, they're obsessed over coming in reunion with this person. This person excites them. Hey, um, Capricorn energy here, devil energy. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm, this person could be attached to somebody else that's toxic. The person that they want to move towards to, they could already have somebody that they're attached to. And this person could be very, they could be in a toxic relationship. They could be in a toxic relationship with a Capricorn. Um, the King of Swords is here. Okay, but some truth is coming out. Okay, they could be with a Libra, but there's some truth going to come out. Some truth is going to be spoken either to you or it's going to come out to your person about this person being tied to somebody else. Maybe they don't know this person is in a relationship, but the truth is coming out. Truth is about to be spoken um, or this is just this person. Your person just won a victory. They don't care whether this person may be stuck with somebody else. They could just want a victory. They're going to stand their ground regardless whether this person is stuck tied to somebody else or not. Okay, or this person could have toxic energy. They're going to still stand their ground because this person is very nurturing to them. Okay, somebody could have some addiction. Okay, they're obsessed over this person, so they're going to stand their ground. So truth is going to come out. So it's going to come to light. The truth is going to come to light. Okay, um, emperor is here. Oh, okay, somebody wants a family. Somebody, yeah. They want a success with this person. Um, they're willing it. They're manifesting it. Okay. They could see themselves wanting a family with this, this, this Taurus energy. They could want a family with this person. Okay. This Taurus could be very bossy and controlling. This Taurus could see this earth energy. I mean, it don't have to be a Taurus. It could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Because Capricorn is here on the board. Um, this earth sign, so I'm going to say earth sign. This earth sign could be bossy and controlling, okay? Where well, your partner is willing and manifesting this person, okay? Because they see them as family man material, family, family oriented, okay? Or well, your partner is willing and manifesting this person because they see them as being family oriented or see wants a family with this person can see themselves building a family with this person six of swords is here yeah this is somebody they want to move to better waters with this is somebody they're manif manifesting a moving metal to waters with they want to move to better waters with this person six of swords um romance of a lifetime aquarius energy please so be ready for the truth to be spoken Cause it's coming, it's coming. Romance of a lifetime. Aquarius, this energy, please. Okay. Oh, this person um energy satisfies your person. If this could be the other person wanting this as well, so you guys can switch it. It could be this earth sign wanting your person, wanting to reunite with your person. They could want your person to cut you off. To have a successful new beginning with you. Maybe your person could be fending them off, you know? So it could go either way, you guys. Um, the King of Wands is here. Yeah, your person is very innerly satisfied mentally, physically with this person. They just sit and think about them. If you got a partner that's just lagging around, that's what they're doing. They're thinking about this earth sign. If you see them just lagging around, they're holding on to this earth sign, thinking about this, this earth sign. Um, the Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this is where all their attention, time, their stability is going. They could be doing things for this person. They could be giving this person stability to keep this person looking good. Okay? Behind your back. Okay? But that's where all their attention, time going. They're daydreaming about this person constantly. Giving this person stability. Communicating with this person probably behind your back. Probably when you sleep or something like that. When you're not home, romance of a lifetime. Aquarius's energy, please. Okay, ten of, ten of pentacles. Yeah, yeah, they're giving all their time, attention, and stability to this person. Um, this person that they want to equal give and take with. Okay, um, they feel very comfortable, secure, and safe with this person. Okay, that's why they want to be with this person because they. they if they feel comfortable with this person. So maybe this person has some type of insecurity where this person accepts them, um, accepts what they feel insecure about, you know, makes them feel good. 
All right. So this is what I'm seeing, Aquarius. Somebody's um communicating with someone they want to move forward with behind your back. And they're trying to figure out how to be with this person. Some truth is going to be spoken on this. It may come in real soon. Because the eight of wands is here. All right. So you may hear something. This may be expressed to you real soon. All right. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, join. Um, join if you'd like to be, um, I mean, new viewers, subscribe. All right. Thank you for stopping by checking out my channel. Uh, you guys, don't forget to check out the Fitz Benefit site whenever you get a chance. All right, you guys. Okay. Especially if you're on that diet journey. I hope I can help somebody, gave somebody some insight. If you've been feeling weird. Or your intuition been showing you something about your partner. This is what's going on. They daydreaming about moving forward with someone else. They just haven't figured out how to tell you yet. Okay, but they're coming in. Once they figure out what to tell you, they're coming in real quick. And they're going to speak the truth to you. All right? And it could go the other way around as well. Okay? It, this could be somebody that wants you. Okay, I must say, this could be somebody that's holding a secret that wants to be with you. This it finds you as being very nurturing, but they're not expressing it. They're keeping a secret. They want to charge for a successful um, reunion with you. They want to reunite with you. So it could go three different ways, you guys. It could be somebody that finds you nurturing. Okay? So it could go three different ways. Okay, so that's what I have. I'm out. Be good. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading.